everyone. Today I want to show you how to put on an extended throw plate. The first one I'm going to show you is how to put on if you have like a Premier, Premier Plus, or Vision 18 because those are different. Um, and then after that I'll show you the next one. Let's go! All right, the first thing you want to look at on your throat plate is to make sure that you have two holes here. That means you have the right plate for your uh, Premier, Premier Plus, or Vision 18. These are your two oiling holes, so they have to be open. You also want to make sure that you're sliding it underneath the hopping foot here, that you're not jarring it, that you're actually sliding it underneath there. Now, once you have it slid underneath there, a quick tip is to put on your horizontal and vertical lock. So you'll hear those lock in, and what that does is it's going to make the machine still stiff for me, so that way I can put on the extended throw plate. All right, to put on the extended throat plate, um, we want to grab the spring at the bottom, and we're gonna pull it down, and then we're gonna go under the side here, and then plop it right on. There you go, you have it on. All right, now we're gonna move on to if you had like a Vision 22, a Vision 26, Vision 30, or a Classic 26 Optimum 30. Um, so. Back in the day, there was an older throw plate like this, so if you have this, it is going to go on the same exact way. But this is the newer throw plate, and again, it looks similar to the one we just showed earlier on the Vision 18. It has one hole for the one oiling point on those machines, and we're going to put this on the same way, but here we go. All right, so let's put it on. The first thing you want to look at, again, that it has the one hole here for the machine type you have. Then we're going to slide it underneath the hopping foot. Remember, no jamming, you just want to slide. Then you're going to take the spring and you're going to pop it underneath the hook retaining bracket and lock it down. Now, if you do want to keep the machine stiff while you're doing it, you can do the same thing on this one, horizontal and vertical lock so the machine doesn't move. Unlock that, because you might be wondering, why would I need an extended base if I don't have one? So let me just show you what you kind of use it for. All right, you would use your extended throat plate for rulers such as your Gam Guide Junior if you have one of those, Arch Guide, some ovals, stars and circles, and we have lots of videos on our YouTube uh, showing how to use these different templates. But just a quick idea, um, if you're using, say, your Gam Guide Junior, it's just so you have a platform. You see how this platform is here all the way around? You hear that and feel that? It allows you to keep the ruler straight, so if I needed to do something straight. I just have my platform table, there we go. Thanks for joining us today to learn more about how to put on your extended throat plate. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get all the tips and tricks that we have. Have a great day, bye.